under the service portal. Um, they're gonna be under your settings tab. Changing your voicemail as simple as clicking on messages and notifications. And from here, you can scroll down and you can see that when I activated my extension, I chose to customize my voicemail at the time of activation, okay? Some of you may have chosen the default option. If you chose the default option, you'll see default here instead, okay? Either way, you'll have the option down below that says edit to change your voicemail. And I'm gonna show you both scenarios regardless of the option that you chose, okay? Let's say first you recorded something, you simply wanna change it a week later, a month later, a uh, half a year later. Simply press the edit key and a pop-up will come up asking you to listen to your voicemail, your existing voicemail, or to simply press the red button to re-record your custom greeting. I'm gonna specifically press the red button, which will immediately take me to the prompt where I can grab that recording and put it into Ring Central again. And if you did choose the customize option, this will look very familiar to you. These are the options um, that Ring Central will give you to capture that from you. So option number one is simply to type in your phone number. And this can be the direct number that is associated with your extension. Simply type it in, hit call now, and the platform will literally call you at that device. Okay, so if you have a Polycom on your desk, that will ring, you can pick it up. It will not be a human being. It will be an automated attendant and it will guide you through the process of recording your voicemail, listening to that voicemail. If you botched it the first time, you can re-record it, re-listen to it as many times as you wish until you're happy with it, and then save it while on that call. And once you save the call, you'll actually see a message at the very bottom here that says, uh, recording saved successfully, and you can simply press done. And then at that point, you've essentially overwritten your voicemail. There are other options in here as well, such as computer microphone and importing. I would suggest against computer microphone unless you have an external microphone of some sort. I'm using a pair of AirPod, uh, just earpods that came with my iPhone, and those are plugged into my Mac, and that allows me to use this as a microphone. And this will actually give me even better quality than on a phone call. So in that case, I would use the computer microphone. For everybody else, however, if you don't have any external microphone, just stick to the phone, you'll, you'll get better results that way. If you use the computer microphone without an external, you, it will defer to your internal microphone built into your computer, but most of those are very low quality, especially compared to a phone call, all right? Lastly, we have the import option. These are for people who want to bring in their recording um, as a file, so if you happen to have a local file on your computer of that recording as a WAV or MP3 file, you can import it right from here, okay? So that covers how to change your voicemail if you've already recorded your voicemail. What if you chose the default option? Um, some people choose the default option simply because they don't have time, right? And they say they'll change their voicemail later on. Um, you'll see the word default, but when you press the word edit, you'll actually see a different pop-up screen. Okay, let me show you what that will look like. You will actually see something along the lines of this. So this is Ring Central's way of simply saying, hey, you don't have a custom recorded voicemail, but we are saying this on your behalf. It's very generic. And if I want to overwrite this and turn this into a recorded message that I am going to record, I simply pull down the default option, choose custom, and this should immediately bring me back to the page where we were just looking at before, which is this page. Okay, and again, just pop in your phone number, hit call now, follow the steps. It will allow you to record that message hit done, and at that point, you've overwritten your default, and you, see, you should see the word custom here as well, okay, so indicating that you've done it correctly. So regardless of the boat that you fall into, you now know how to change your voicemail regardless of your activation method.